Hi, I'm going to finish showing you how to create the unit circle by hand. The first video showed you how to use the palm of your hand with square, to th square roots across your fingertips, your three angles, 30, 45, 90, and of course 0 and 90 to fit in the first quadrant. And I've got drawn in my palm divided by 2 because anytime you find a value in, in the quadrant, you're just going to divide by 2 to find the denominator of all the values on the unit circle. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this, these values and create the rest of the circle. It's pretty easy. So all we're going to do is fold the unit circle together. So this 30 degree angle over here matches this angle over here, which is 150 degrees, because we know a straight line is 180, so there's 180. And those same values are going to be right here. We're going to have the square root of 3 over 2 and a half. We're going to have the square root of 2 over 2 at this angle. Square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2. And that angle is 135. And we're going to have right, that says 60, I meant it to, or 90, that's supposed to be 60. Um, this is going to come over here and be 1 half square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so see how they're just mirror images of each other. Now we have to think about signs. Quadrant 1 has positive and positive as the two signs, but quadrant 2 has negative positive signs. Negative first and positive second. That means every ordered pair over here is going to have a negative first coordinate. So I'm going to go in and put my negatives and you're done. That's all there is to figure out this quadrant. And of course this angle is 1. 20. Okay, let's go over here to the 180 degree. Well, it's one of, it's on the axis and all the ones on the axis are going to have either a 0, a 1, or a negative 1. So this one is negative 1, 0 as its ordered pair. Now let's go down here and look at the bottom half. Now let's think about this as folding the graph along the x-axis. So all the values are going to fold down here. So these two are going to be mirror images, these two and these two. So all I'm going to do is write these ordered pairs down here in this quadrant, thinking about it folding symmetrically. So this is going to be the square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half. This one's going to be the square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2. This one's going to be 1 half, square root of 3 over 2. Now let's think signs. This is quadrant 3, so the signs are negative, negative. So both ordered pair, or both coordinates are going to be negative in this quadrant. Okay, let's go down here to the 270 degree angle and let's label it. It's on the y-axis and we said all the ones on the axis are either going to be 1 and 0 or negative 1 and 0. So this one is 0, negative 1. So let's put that in. Okay, and again, this mirror image of folding along the y-axis or at the x-axis. I'm going to take these values and just match them up. So this one is 1 half square root of 3 over 2. This one's coming down here, square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2. And this one is square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half. Now let's think signs. This one, this is quadrant 4, so it's positive, negative. So positive followed by negative. That means our cosine's positive and our sine is negative. So go in and make the second coordinate negative. And there you go. Now, as far as angles, we haven't labeled these angles. Okay, these are going to go up by 30, so this is 110, and then it goes up by 15, so that's, uh, what, 225, another 15, that is 240, and then this one increases by 30, and then again by 30, so that's 300, 315, 330, whoops, 330, and of course all the way around the circle is 360 degrees. So these little increments away from the axis, these are 30 degrees each, and then in between these angles you're increasing by 15, 15, 30. Uh, 30, 15, 15, 30, 30, 15, 15, 30, 30, 15, 15, 30. So hopefully that will help you create all your angle measures. And there you go. That is how you create the inner circle with the two videos by hand. I hope this palm with the square root symbols and the square root of 2 have helped you create the unit circle.